Welcome to Gum Storytime with Deschutes Public Library. My name is Roxanne. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our hello song. It's called Bread, Butter, Marmalade, and Jam. It is oh so delicious. We are going to practice our opposites as we say hello by saying hello four different ways. And this is how it goes. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Three more times. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Fantastic. Two more times. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. One more time. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Perfect job, love bugs. Welcome. So before we read our first story, we're going to get ready by opening and shutting them. Let's do it together. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Nice job. We're going to read our story about what happens when you fall asleep with gum in your mouth. Could it end up in your hair? Who knows? Let's find out next. On Account of the Gum by Adam Rex, read with permission of Chronicle Books. That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still. And your sister said, duck. And you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, we went on some websites and all of them swear. If you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along and... I see, it appears that those websites were wrong. Don't give me that look. Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have grass in your hair. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Hmm, your rabbit eats grass. Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there. But your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch. She'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. Wait, no, I'm thinking of the old cat. Your aunt just came back and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. Though the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus every few seconds, we'll pop a balloon 
and the guy with the bees said he'd get them here soon. And, oh, I hear sirens. The firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same with their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili. They're ready to stop. Get out, please. Jeez. Rude. So that's the solution. Well, what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Whoop. Now your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? Anyway, you'd better get to school. Because otherwise, you're going to miss picture day on account of the gum. And that's the end, or is it? Great job listening and paying attention today, love bugs. It is that time. It is time to say goodbye. And this is the way that I love to say goodbye to all of my story time friends. I'm gonna take my right hand just like this, bend it in half to say goodbye. We'll take our two little friends and because they're oh so nice and sweet, just like you, they're going to give each other hugs just like this. And then it's time to say goodbye. When we put it all together, this is how it goes. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for joining me and participating today, everyone. Until next time, happy reading.